Welcome everybody to my YouTube channel. I'm here in sunny Port St. Lucie, Florida with my lovely grandmother, Natalie Fernandez. How you doing, Grandma? Good, honey. Very happy that you're here. Yes. And we're gonna cook my favorite dessert. What's it called, Grandma? Latria. I learned how to make it with my father who had no measuring of any kind. It's all by, by contact. I, eye contact, looking and seeing and tasting. That's it. Where did you grow up, Grandma? I grew up in Newark, New Jersey. Yeah. I'm a Jersey person. I love Jersey. I'm looking forward to going back soon to be near everybody, okay? So you used to make this for my father when I oh, was a kid, Oh, did right? Well, I'll tell you, when he was small, him and uh, your Aunt Maria, he used to make this every Sunday morning for their breakfast, and they just loved it. It was a big treat for them. And I kept it, the tradition going on after he passed away, and I make it occasionally, mostly when my grandchildren come. So I'm, and I'm glad that I make it for you when you come here. I only <laughs> hope that I always can make it okay, because like I told you, Joey, I don't measure anything. Everything is just by, looking and tasting and a little more tasting until I more or less get it right. And of course, I always have to have the right noodles. You Wrong have to have noodles, the right noodles. Of course. <laughs> of course. <laughs> Wrong noodles are no good. Wrong but otherwise, noodles. everything's okay. And I want to make it extra special today because you're here, Aww. my Joey, my Joey. Aww. Oh. I used to love having this as a little kid. It was like oh, one of my yeah. favorite desserts. Hot, cold eating trays of it. I remember waking All up, sleeping at your house, waking up in the middle of the night to go in the fridge and just scoop it out. Right. <laughs> <laughs> you, your brother, your father, everybody, everybody, honey. I'll make it all the time because it's a, um, like I said, it's a family dish. And of course, a lot of people make it different ways. This was is the way that I was taught to make it. And this is the way I want to make it. And I sure as heck hope it comes out very, very good today. Oh, it's gonna uh, come out great. I hope so, We're honey. We're gonna pig out. I'm gonna eat the whole tray, probably. Oh, well, it's hey. usually what I do, right? <laughs> and if there's any left over, we'll put it in a, in a little container. And you could take it back to Jersey. Oh, okay. yeah, Jersey. Right. I may be bringing home some with three of you. All right. All right, oh, we're gonna get cooking. Well, right now, I have a little water in here. It's starting, starting to uh, boil, and I have to add some milk. You don't measure like the set, no. so how much milk you think you just poured oh, in there? Oh, I don't know. I think I bought may I put maybe um, a half a gallon. This is very important to do. I have to put a um, a little bit of lemon skin here. Lemon skin? Uh -huh, just the skin of the lemon to just give it a little, you know, lemony taste, okay? And what does that do? That gives it a little lemony taste to it, you know, so it doesn't taste, I don't know, that's just we do it. It's custom, it gives it a little a kick. So it starts boiling, I could keep it a little high, but then once I put the noodles in there, I have to lower it so it's so they'll just cook very slowly. Okay, so these are the egg noodles. These are the egg noodles. I'm just gonna show the camera. Egg noodles, a uh, fine enriched noodle product. Okay. They're very thin. Well, I'm gonna put here what I'm going to use. And I can tell by the water that I have there, by this bag I, and the water that I have, I know just about what I have to put in. Again, like I told you, everything is uh, by eye. Okay, then I, I break them down like so. How big do you, how, how, how much do you break them? Uh, not, not, you know, like half like of what they are now. See how they are like that? I get them like about like that, maybe a little bigger. Now I get a little bit of butter. That's I, a lot of bit of butter. No, yeah, but that's it. <laughs> a little to, bit of butter. Yeah, you took, what was that, like five te tablespoons you put? <laughs> no, maybe five tablespoons. <laughs> teaspoons. But it's about, that's for this amount of water. Before I put the water in there uh -huh. and the milk, I sprayed the pan a little bit so nothing sticks on the bottom. Okay. Okay, honey? So this is just milk, water, butter, and lemon, like and, a, lemon and, peels. And, um, 
sugar. And sugar. Sugar. And then uh, how much sugar was in there? I didn't put any in. Oh, you didn't put I'm any in. Get, okay, yeah. I thought I missed that. Some people might not even put butter, but I, my, my dad always put butter in there. How long till you put the noodles into this? As soon as this starts to boil. Oh, as soon as it starts to boil. As soon as it starts to boil, honey. I say I don't like to make it go too high, too fast. Patience, no measuring. <laughs> Patience, I swear, Joey, I, I think there's only two recipes that I follow by measuring and that those are cake recipes everything else I, I, I just can't I, I'm going by the times when they had no measuring cups you know okay so now you're gonna put the noodles into the pot right I keep stirring it on I put not I don't put it too high because I don't want it to to burn. I'm going to put sugar, but at the beginning I don't put too much. I put regular and then I taste it later. And if I think it needs more sugar, then I'll put more sugar. Because at the end, then it takes cinnamon. Right here, I'm beating two egg white, uh, egg, uh, not whites, yolks. And then I'm going to put it in there. So, right no whites, you just take the yolks? No, out? just the yolks. I got to beat it up. And this only goes in after the noodles have been cooked good through and through. And then one thing you have to remember too is that after you put this in the in, the, in their plates or platters, they sort of swell a little bit. They increase in size. You know what I mean? Yeah. So how do you prevent the egg from cooking in there? Like a... It won't because I put milk in it. And I don't do it while it's boiling. I wait till it's you know it cools down a little bit. Mm -hmm. I could have put more noodles in here, I think. See, that's what I mean. I just, that's why me measuring is not. That's about it. A lot of people make this just with water, and it's so, ugh. Water? Yeah. How does it get creamy then? It doesn't. I'm gonna put some sugar in there. <laughs> That's just our dog, that's her dog Dallas in the background, so. Four mm. tablespoons of sugar. Yeah, but then I'm going to need a little more. Okay, now it just has to cook. Oh, so you take a little bit of the milk and then right. mix it with the egg. Right. And that makes it so that the egg doesn't cook? Very cool. See, I'm learning all sorts of things. Oh, Joey. This is the easiest thing. It's like time consuming, but it's so easy. And then this holds it together too, the yeah. egg. The egg yolk. See, it's not sweet now. And then once I put in this in, it's not as sweet at all. That's what then when I have to put in more sugar. Now, how long does this take roughly about till it gets? Uh... Well, I'd say like this maybe, but as, as, as doing it slow, it takes almost an hour. The way I do it slow. I don't like it to cook, like I said, too fast. Yeah. Look, look, at, look at how it is, look. Take out the lemon? Yeah, I just took it out. I shut the flame off and I took Sometimes you, you, you might forget the lemon in there and it'll come out, but that's all right. That doesn't kill you anyway. Oh, I'll never forget one time. You went to the mall with your mom. We all went to the mall and they saw you there and they just loved the way you looked and asked your mom if you could be in a fashion show. Uh -huh. If you could be in a fashion show. And let me tell you, Joey, you were terrific. 
You did your walk, everything like a professional, like a professional, and everybody clapped. You were just so gorgeous, so gorgeous. I got a picture of it. I've shown it to people. Oh, you did? Oh, yeah. honey, you were so, oh my God, your hair was spiked. Your hair looked, you look gorgeous. Ah, oh, I used to have gorgeous hair, right? Yeah, yeah, beautiful. Now that's it's all, all gone. That's all right, honey. <laughs> that's okay. But you were funny. You were always, you were always set to be with a lot of people. You're a people person. You make people happy. Anytime you're near anybody, they're always in a good mood. They can't be in a bad mood because you turn every situation into a happy situation. And that, that means a lot, honey, to have that personality. And you do. You're a people person, honey. I people. get it from you, Grandma. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, gosh. Look, Joey, look how it's getting thick. So. Yeah. Yeah, honey, oh, you were unbelievable. Now, when this goes in here, honey, you have to stir it very quickly, see? Oh, uh, okay. All right, see? You just keep pouring it in a little bit at a time? Uh -huh. Yeah, just, no, just regular. And keep stirring so it doesn't give it a chance to cake up, you know what I mean? Even though it has the milk. And now I got, then I gotta taste it again if it needs more sugar. It's getting thick and creamy. Yep, it sure is. You have to add a little more sugar, just a little. So what do you have now? Cinnamon. Now the cinnamon goes on top, honey. Oh yeah, I love the cinnamon. That is beautiful, honey. Good, honey. See, so easy. Hey everybody, I hope you enjoyed watching my beautiful grandma, Natalie Fernandez, cook my favorite Portuguese dessert, Latria. I'm gonna give it a little taste test now, we're gonna see. She put extra cinnamon on this for me? Of course, of because course. you love cinnamon, that's mm -hmm. it. Okay, see. anything for Joe, anything for Joe. Oh my God, grandma, it is so creamy, delicious. Good. Oh my God, I can okay. eat a whole tray of this. No question, no oh. question. And that is why I'm losing a pant size while I'm here with you this week. Oh, oh, really? I am. <laughs> I can already feel my belt tightening up, my oh, shirt yeah. too tight. Oh, I wish I could cook for you every day, Joey. I wish you could cook for me every day too. I know. I, mean, I, I think you, I would enjoy it so much and just seeing you, seeing you sitting at the table across from me eating my food that it brings back so many memories, honey. Right. And I love you so much. I love you and too. And I want you to come all the time. Oh, I, While I, I'm here, when I go to Jersey, then you'll be with me too, okay, more maybe, often. Maybe we'll, we'll do another cooking show when you're in Jersey. Okay. Maybe when I come back, I'll bring the cameras again. We do a cooking show again. Maybe we'll make it. Okay, maybe. maybe you knows? never know. We could be on the Food Network. Uh, oh, grandmother, yeah. grandson oh, cooking yeah. show. Oh, Giving dude. all the great Portuguese dishes. Okay, honey. Okay. I love it. I love it. Oh, me too. Oh. Hey, everybody. Thanks for watching. Uh, me and my beautiful grandma, Natalie Fernandez, cooking you my favorite Portuguese dessert. What's it called again? Latria? Latria. I, I hope I said it right. Latria. Yes. Thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you had fun.